once again and welcome back to another tutorial. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to do a clipping mask in Pixlr. So admittedly, I have recorded this once already, only to realize that I was stupid in the first recording. Not because the recording was screwed up, but because my process that I showed was not right and very dumb. So we're going to do it the right way <laughs> this time. So to create a clipping mask in Pixlr, we need two layers just like in my Photoshop tutorial. So first things first, I'm going to insert a shape into my PNG background. I'm going to grab my shape tool, create a shape. Then I'm going to come up to layer and open image as layer. And I'm going to come find a layer. Boink. So once I have my new layer in, I'm going to resize my image. I'm going to make sure I have the image layer selected. Come up to edit, select free transform. I can move it around a bit, but I'm going to hold down the shift key to make sure I don't lose my proportions. And I'm going to... Do I want to save the changes? Yes. I'm going to disable this real quick while I position my shape to be in the corner. So again, come up to edit, select free transform, and I can rotate it to where I want it to be. And then once we're done, we can click out and hit OK. And then what we're going to do is drag our shape layer on top of our image, enable our image, and then place our image roughly where we want it to be in our mask. So once we have our two layers positioned, we need to come up to our shape, we need to select our wand tool and select the area that is exposed. Then we can come up to layer one, and then we can click layer, select add layer mask. Then when we hide our shape, then the corner has a mask. So the downside to doing a clipping mask in Pixlr is that you can't move your mask around and all you can do is really move the image around. Even then, your image has been chopped and you can't get more of your image into the mask. So that's one of the top reasons why I prefer Photoshop over this tool, that and the general organization of everything in Photoshop versus Pixlr. So that is how you do it to a shape. I would just also like to add that you can do this to text as well. And just like your shape, you want to make sure that your shape is on top of your image. But with text, you'll create your layer, then you'll apply your image and we're just going to use the water again then drag our text on top make sure our text layer is selected then you'll want to come up to layer rasterize layer so that it converts it from a text layer to like a shape layer then you'll select your wand tool you'll select one part hold down shift and select each part of your word then you'll come over to your image layer and then do the same thing with your clipping mask then we can hide the word and you see that our image is behind the text. So I know this is kind of a jumbled together tutorial and I'm sorry it's because I'm refilming this due to my stupidity in the last time, but I hope it was helpful. So anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, you can give it a big thumbs up. You can click right over here to subscribe to the respective channels and you can click right over here to see my previous video. And as always, I'll see you in the next tutorial. Bye bye.